What is up everyone, Pure Chaos X here with an unboxing of uh, the, the Keiko HDMI adapter for the Sega Dreamcast. Yes, um, I got sent this as a review item um, from Keiko after I got in touch with them on Facebook and they sent me a uh, product to review because um, I do want to play Dreamcast games but I have an awkward way of recording um, which I actually forgot to go and get as a demonstration. Um, give me two seconds actually even though we've just started this video. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds I shall return. Okay I'm back. Yeah so basically this as you can see just a, a single unit. Just one unit needs no external power um, and uh, yeah, I've been looking such a long time to find something to record Dreamcast with. Um, so and I found this. Um, I was just doing a search for you know HDMI adapters and Dreamcast adapters. Came across this, and this is going to hopefully um, replace that. And then of course you got that and that. So uh, the HDMI cable for recording, the power cable for the converter, the VGA cable, the RCA adapter, and the VGA to HDMI. It, it's it's a bitch to set up all of that um, to hopefully replace it with one cable. So yes, um, get rid of that. Uh, and here is my Dreamcast, just because. Um, it's a bit yellow. Actually, that's a lot more yellow than I expected it to be. Um, hey, look, Scars of Arcadia. Um, yeah, I, I actually had to get and I had to download an American version because my PAL version doesn't work with the VGA output. So I had to get a American version. Uh, so yeah, because the American version is compatible uh, with VGA, whereas the PAL version is not, which is unfortunate. So put that there. I do apologise if Draga One on my TV is too loud. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's unbox this. I did unbox this quickly just to see what was in there, but. Uh, so, so uh, yes, the little instruction manual, which is just one page long. Um, the English is proper; it's, it's proper English. Um, so, yeah, no, no bad misspellings or translations anywhere. Uh, and then the rest of it's just foreign. So, just foreign. So, it's gonna focus. Focus. I'm gonna to have to auto focus it. That's annoying. So, there is said device, and yes, you do even get an HDMI cable. It's kind of nice. Uh, I don't normally get HDMI cables with things like this, I don't think. Uh, yeah, it's a normal HDMI cable with these Velcro strips that I really enjoy owning. I actually use these for so many things. So I have another two now, so that's actually really helpful. <laughs> it's surprisingly helpful. Um, why doesn't this phone autofocus anymore? I need to get a proper camcorder, I think. So yes, and here is the Wii device. Yeah. <clears throat> and what a Wii device it is, actually it's very light as well. And uh, yeah. It, it sure beats the hell out of that. <laughs> yeah, and then of course it just plugs into the back, like so, nice tight fit, uh, no need for external power, uh, can I actually get this thing to autofocus? Oh that is irritating, why doesn't this stupid phone autofocus anymore? Ah. 
I just said exposure and focus are locked, so does that mean it's not going to autofocus at all? No. Okay, I need to figure this phone out. Okay. So, yeah, um, I will do some, like, proper, uh, capture with this and that. I shall do some actual, like, recording and see which one sort of looks good. Um, even if it, even if this one doesn't look as good as this, I will most likely still use that. Just for, like, complete ease of simplicity. Um, over trying to hook all this up. So... <clears throat> yeah, um, but what I might do quickly is just sort of hook this up, test it, turn it on, test it, using this camera, just see what it looks like, um, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Um, I might use my own HDMI cable, I don't know if I have one to hand. Um, oh no, I have one, yeah, okay, yeah, um, we'll jump cut, do a quick test on camera with this and then in another day or two I'll make some proper recordings with both of these and let's see what it's like. So jump cut. Okay let's turn the Dreamcast on which is on the floor which I can't move the camera because it's mounted on a tripod. Um, so yeah uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. Let's turn on the Let's turn on the wall socket and see what happens. <laughs> oh! Ah, yes, my TV does the whole freaking uh, dot by dot thing. So, um, yeah. It wouldn't look like this on normal most TVs. It's just that my TV has a, uh, a dot by dot setting which is absolutely terrible setting. Um, oh, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, terrible setting. Um, menu, picture. So you got aspect ratio. So you do zoom, zoom, 16 by nine, or four by three. Unfortunately, these four by three and 16 by nine stretch the image so if, if you were to like have a 720p image it would be dot by dot and it would be just like 720p and then if you do a zoom in it actually stretches the image so it looks absolutely terrible um, normally actually let's try something else actually because uh, this is this is my TV this is my TV not um, not the device Let, let's turn Draga off for a bit <laughs> so. um, let, me, let me try something else you might be able to see the back of my head uh. <laughs> Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. I plugged it into the back of the Xbox One S. And oh good lord. I forgot. <laughs> Need to go. Uh but it should find the image. There we go. Uh, skip. Skip. Next. <clears throat> okay, there we are. And there we go. There is audio, but it's surprisingly... Oh, it's because I turned it down. Okay, let's close the Dreamcast. So yeah, thankfully the Xbox One's uh, HDMI input will basically stretch the image the way it needs to, whereas unfortunately my TV does not. Um, so...
Nope. Um, it's been a while since I've used the old VGA to HDMI, so I don't know what they look like in comparison. But I can't remember if it did a good job at centering the image, like this is. Nice sharp lines down the sides, the image is centered. I don't know if that's the doing of the Xbox or the device though, I can't remember. Ba -ba. The disguise of Arcade, hello! You can see my reflection, I'm, f I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I will of course do some proper direct capture. Um, I might have to record through my Xbox rather than plugging it directly into the capture device because like I said my TV will do that um, dot by dot thing because obviously the Dreamcast is outputting a 480 signal or a 575 signal? I can't remember. Because it's outputting that, the TV basically resizes it to its actual size. And I, I can't be bothered to keep doing the going through the menus and resizing the image. Because this TV doesn't automatically stretch an image. Um, so time for a new TV, methinks. So, <laughs> oh, we'll skip past that. Yep. On, on the plus side, it is totally 100%, seems to be working fine. This might even push me to play some Skies of Arcadia again. Because I haven't played any for a while. But um, yeah, there we go. I mean, the picture looks as good as you could expect. Um, yeah. Obviously, the proof is in the pudding once it's been direct captured, but uh, it's, uh, mm. but that's not too bad. Let's move the camera down. So there it is, plugged in. A little uh, blue power light. And, uh, yeah is all good um so yeah I'll, I'll i haven't got much time at the moment to do some direct captures but the instant i do i'll upload a separate video of that so but um yeah there you go um that was was the box that was the box the i think i'm, I'm guessing it's pronounced keiko or Keiko? Keiko? It looks like Keiko. Um, HDMI adapter for the Dreamcast. Um, so, yeah, um, they are on Amazon. Um, hopefully, I don't forget. I'll put the link to the Amazon page in the description. Um, they were out of stock a few days ago, but they did get some in like a few days ago. <laughs> so, they are now back in stock. I can't remember the price, but. Yes, I'll put the link in the description, because at the moment, I although I haven't captured anything yet, this is a vast improvement on what I was using, and I don't think they're expensive either, and they're such as, it's so wee, um, that's, that's, that's going to be easy as pie to sort of store away, so, yeah, um, I can get rid of this. Now, this the, all this cable. <laughs> so yes, um, big big thank you then to uh, Keiko for sending me that. It's, it's the very first and probably only for a while um, review item I've ever been sent, and it was a very good one to start with actually because, like I said, I am currently very impressed. So, um, I will see how it acts when plugged into my Elgato. Um, if the Elgato itself doesn't upscale anything, 
then I will obviously plug it into the Xbox One and record through the Xbox One to the um, One Guide, or you know, the TV input, because it obviously stretches uh, the image like it needs to. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've done enough talking, I'll leave it there for now, so thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, um, thank you to Keiko for sending me the item, and um, I will come back in a few days with some proper direct capture, so, a flappy thing, so yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.